Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Big Red Beard Show. I'm your host, Coop Cheese, and I am currently playing Sonic CD. That's right. Sonic CD the Hedgehog. Uh, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. You get it. So, this is part of my long series of Coop Plays Sonic the Hedgehog, and you're probably wondering why I jumped into Sonic CD rather than Sonic 2 as the sequel. Well, there's actually a reason behind that. Um, after Sonic 1, Sega knew that they had to make a sequel because of the wild success of their, of their original game. So basically, what uh, Sega did is they, broke, they knew they had their new uh, Sega CD that's, that was coming out, and uh, they wanted to make a sequel to Sonic, but they had two systems. They knew that they wanted to make a Sonic game for the CD, and they also knew that they wanted to make one for the Genesis. So basically, two teams were commissioned, one in America and one in Japan. And Sega CD is the, or Sonic CD, is the, the Japanese team's sequel. So this is technically a direct sequel to Sonic 1, but also Sonic 2 at the same time. They were both made at the exact same time. And I figured, well, I might as well play Se uh, Sonic CD first before I do Sonic 2. Kind of because I want to just get out of the way. So, um, this is not the original Sonic CD, if you can tell. Uh, this is actually a remake. It's the Christian Whitehead version. So you can actually find, uh, you can actually purchase this uh, on your, your PlayStation 3. Um, I think it's on the Xbox 360. I don't know. Um, but I also know it's definitely available for phone. So um, Apple or Android. I know it's on there. I practice all. I've been playing it uh, nonstop for the last couple of weeks. Um, a couple of cool things about this little menu here. Let's see here under options. Um, you can change up the controls, you can take a look at the controls, just kind of a quick look at that. I'm on the PS3 at the moment. And you can also change, you know, sound effects, the background music, you can decide if you want to make it uh, sharp, smooth, or good old fashioned nostalgia. I personally like it a little on the sharp side. You can also choose your spin dash mode. Uh, the original uh, Sonic CD when you spin dashed, it just was like charging up a little ball. Um, whereas in Sonic 2, it had like the oval shape spin dash. I'm personally going to choose that because that's what I find f most familiar and I think it looks cooler. So I'm sorry if this is not going to be like an original playthrough of the original game. It, it's basically the exact same game. Also, you can choose your soundtrack, um, Japanese or the US. Personally, I find the Japanese soundtrack uh, more entertaining than the US one. So there's that. Um. I haven't done it enough to unlock any extras. But I have played the, through this game enough times to, you know, not hate it. It's it's definitely not my favorite Sonic game, but it's it, I believe it's worthwhile. Um, as you can see, I've completed the game, though with no emeralds, and this was not uh, the, the good ending. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second here, but let's go ahead and just get started. New game. Oh yeah, once you complete the game in the Christian Whitehead version, um, you can choose between Sonic or Tails. I'm just going to go ahead and play as Sonic. Another interesting detail about the Christian Whitehead version of this game is that it has a different rendition of the opening theme song. Uh, there was already a difference between the soundtracks of the US and the Japanese version of this game, whereas the US version had the classic, iconic song, Sonic Boom, and this one had another one, which was kind of like a half-rap 
it was actually really, really cool. But the Christian Whitehead version just, it takes the music, but it's only the instrumental version of the Japanese music. It's, none of the, uh, the lyrics are in there. And I, I, I don't know if that was a good move, but, eh, whatever. I suppose maybe he just needed to, uh, have his own touch. There he goes. All right, welcome to Palm Tree Panic. So this game is very ambitious. It's a little on the strange side. There's a lot that it wants to do. As you can see right there, it kind of did like a weird like little 3D thing. Um, right here, I want you to pay attention. There's a future and a past post. Um, basically, you want to make a good future. That doesn't mean you want to go through the future post. The goal of the game is actually to go into the past. We are currently, quote-unquote, in the present. And so, when going through the past, you have to uh, basically charge up enough speed. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Don't want to don't want to touch any of the buttons there. Just let it happen. So once you go through the past, drop, um, have a consistent speed f going, then uh, you can flow back in time. Ah! Stop! Silly robot. So we're going back in time, but I don't think it's clear as to how far back in time. Cause there's still robots going on here. And I uh, want to go through here. So you see this down here? This little metal sonic hologram? Yeah, you want to get get rid of those. Poof! But that's not all. There's other stuff you have to take care of. You have to get rid of that and... Um... Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, I have to... Uh... Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud muffins. Ah, oh, biscuits. Ah, right here, this thing. It's a little robot generator. Take care of both of those, and you can head to the goal. And there we go. That's the first level in Sonic CD. We made a good future. And what bothers me about this game is that they don't make that clear. I mean, you see the future and the past thing, then it's like... you. you you have this idea that you want to go fast, move fast, go to the end of the goal, uh, you know, like any other Sonic game. But, okay, so this is actually the past point that we want to go to. And just keep running and running and running and running and running and running. I just felt like running! So, you want to run and maintain a consistent speed when you get a past or future post, though I personally don't recommend going to the future post. Uh, Alright, uh, time to find... Uh... So, this game doesn't require the same kind of, like, jeez, oh, uh, run-through like the other Sonic games do. What it does require, though, is kind of aimless wandering. I wouldn't say aimless. Like, if you play through it enough, you kind of figure out what where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do. Oh, that's right. And even I still, like, run into these little hiccups, like, right there. I'm supposed to jump on there. I want to get an extra life over here. Yes! And, ugh. It's not, nope, 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 nope. Not gonna do that. And then up here, see where that little guy is? Yeah, there's the generator. All right, and I'm gonna hop over here. Sure, we'll take care of this. Go down past this. Spin dash to take care of the uh, Metal Sonic post there. And there you go. Now you can do whatever you want. 
Ugh, why would they put a rock there? Why would they put a rock there? See, this is the kind of nonsense that I actually... The reason why I don't like this game. It's like... They made the first Sonic game, and they're like, well, we'll make a sequel. And then... They just clutter it. Like, seriously, this game is filled with just clutter. It's like, we'll take everything that was Sonic 1. We're gonna erase the idea of just simply going to an end goal. And then we're just gonna fill it with a bunch of nonsense. Like, there's rings hiding in areas that you can't see or that you can't get to. Like, you can obviously see that they're, like, within the rocks, but you actually can't get to them. And it's frustrating. Now, take a look at this boss. Any other Sonic game, the boss takes, like, at least eight, uh, takes eight hits. And hit all you want, you're not gonna hit him. So he defends himself, but then he steps back, and it's like he starts running away. Just hit him one, two, three, and he's done. Like, there's all this random junk just covering up the... Like, I feel like it's just clutter. Unnecessary clutter. Ugh. And that's the, uh, the thing that's holding all the flowers, apparently. I don't know. I really still don't completely understand what they were thinking when they made this game. But anyway, that's Sonic CD... And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.